What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another twin motion tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to make an export of video rendering inside of twin motion. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so in the last video, we talked about how to export a rendered image out of twin motion. In this video, I wanna talk about how to export a rendered video. Um, so I will link to that exporting a rendered image tutorial in the notes down below. But what we wanna do is this is a model I've downloaded from the 3D warehouse. I've talked about it before. This is the LA House by SZ Kristoff. Um, so you can download this and follow along if you want to. And I've swapped out some of the materials in here. I haven't spent a whole lot of time on that because honestly I want to show you how the video function works I'm not or I haven't been focused on making this an ultra photorealistic rendering at the moment but what I wanted to do is talk about how to create that video so to do that you're gonna go down into your settings and you're gonna click on the button for media and if you remember before media is where we went to create an image well now what we want to do is we want to use this to create a video and so in order to create a video you're gonna come over here and you're gonna click on the little camera and you're gonna click on the button for create. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to create a clip. And so I wanna talk for a second just about the difference between clips and movies. So a clip is gonna be a short moving animation that you create inside of your rendering. Um, a movie is gonna be something that you put together where you combine different clips. So if you wanna create something that has like a combination of different clips or something like that, you're gonna use a movie in order to do that. And so to start off, Let's go ahead and say that we were just going to have a scene where we just move sideways across this room. And maybe we'll have a view, maybe we'll have a view where we're going to be inside this room looking at this wall right here. And so in order to do this, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the button for create clip. And then you're going to click on the button for create clip over here. So when you first click on create clip, what that's going to do is that's going to add a new clip right here. And just like all the others, you can rename that and things like that. And you can also adjust all the camera settings and everything else that are going to be contained inside of that clip. And so in this case, what we want to do is we want to create a clip where this transitions from this view to this view. And so in order to do that, what we want to do is on the right hand side over here, we want to click the plus button. And what that's going to do is that's going to create a second scene. And so if you look down here, this is going to give you a little option for clip length. And right now, what this is going to do is if you click the play button, it's going to create a 10 second video where it transitions between that first view and that second view. And so when you do this, if you set this up in this way, what this is gonna do is this is gonna transition between however many clips you add in here. So let's say for example that you then wanted this to transition over into your kitchen somehow, you could add another clip over here. So now the whole thing would be a 10 second video transitioning between these three clips. So you can see how about halfway through this, this starts transitioning into the kitchen over here and so you can use this to set up your views that are going to be contained inside your video and so let's say we had another one over here we just added this one you can see how all that's going to do is that's going to speed this up because now it has more views that it has to transition through in order to create your image and so we could use this clip and we could call this something like interior movement or something like that And so that's gonna rename our clip. And so the other thing we could do in here if we wanted to is we could adjust things like our weather settings. So I could adjust this so that we've got clouds out the window or something like that. So all of those settings that we talked about in the exporting images are going to basically apply inside your clips. And then another thing we can talk about in a second is also each individual little video that's in here can have different settings as well. But we'll go ahead and leave this as is. We're going to go ahead and make this our kind of interior transition animation that we're going to have inside of Twin Motion. Okay, so now let's do the same thing, but let's add an let's add a clip for the exterior of our image. So let's say that we wanted to have our camera fly around the outside of this building. Now what we could do is we could create a second clip just for that. So I could click on this create clip and now we could do the same thing but we can add a camera animation where it flies around the outside of our building. So I'm just going to do the same thing where I'm going to add a couple scenes that this will give my camera something to transition between. 
And again, I know there's materials I haven't swapped out and things like that. Um, let's not worry about that too much for right now. But for right now, what this is going to do is this is going to create a 10 second animation where this moves along this path that we just created by adding these three clips. And you can adjust the length of that too. So if I was to do this to be five seconds, this is going to move a lot more quickly than when it was a 10 second clip. So you can see how this is creating that animation along here. And let's say, and I'm gonna put this back to 10 seconds, let's say that we also wanted to show a transition between, um, let's say we wanted to show a transition between the, uh, the seasons in these videos. Well, what we could do is we could come in here and we could adjust the weather so that it's rainy in this clip and then we could adjust the weather where it's snowy in this clip. And so now if I was to go back and play this whole thing, if I click the play button, what that's gonna do is that's gonna transition between the different seasons because I've set this as having different seasons inside of each one of these clips. So you can see how that kind of transitions between these. And you could add some more gentle transitions in here. I think when it goes from here to just all of a sudden having snow on the ground, um, it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit jarring, but it gives you a good idea of what this is capable of when transitioning between these scenes. And so we could also, if we wanted to, we could adjust our lighting so that the sun's gonna be a little bit brighter and the ambient's gonna be a little bit brighter in here. Um, I don't wanna make this too bright, but we could adjust that here or Probably a better way to do that would be to adjust that differently for each one of these. So, like for this one, I might brighten up my ambient lighting a little bit just to make this a little bit brighter. Maybe turn my GI up just a little bit. And then for my next clip right here for this keyframe, I might do the same thing. So I might turn my lighting up turn my ambient lighting up so this is a little bit brighter. So now what we have is we have this transitioning animation between these different scenes, but this isn't quite as dim as it was before. But you can see how you can kind of fine adjust this. And I know that some of these grass areas haven't been swapped out and things like that. Um, I'm more worried about the video mechanics right now than anything else. And so now that we have our two clips, what we wanna do is we wanna combine them together so that they go in one movie. So each one of these clips, you can manage them in here. And then when you go back to your video, you're then gonna go in, you're gonna click on the button for edit in order to create a movie. And so a movie is gonna be a combination of those different clips. So you can see how this gives you an option when you add a movie to drag your clip here. So I'm gonna drag this clip right here. So that's gonna be my interior scene. And then I can drag my second clip right here so that it's gonna be after that. So I've got an interior scene where I'm flying through the interior of my model. And then I've got an exterior scene where I'm flying around the outside. So you can see how these two get kind of combined into their own, their own individual movie here. And one thing we can do here is when you click on this button right here, you can add a transition between the two. So you can add this so it has like a black fade in between them. So if you watch as this goes through, when this transitions between the scenes, instead of just being like a jump cut, it's gonna give you kind of a fade to black in between those as well. And you can also do a fade to white in here. So you can add a little bit of a transition between those views by clicking on these little buttons and adjusting that. And if you ever need to remove a clip, you can just click on this button right here and click remove. And so now that we've got our clips put together into a single movie, what we wanna do is we wanna export this. And so we're gonna export this in the same way that we exported our images. We're gonna go down to this button right here for export, but instead of clicking on the button for image, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna click on the button for video. And so you can see how when we look at this, this gives us three options. So we've got our, um our, option, our two clips show up in here and our movie shows up in here as well. So you can set this to export just individual clips or you can combine them into one movie and export that. But we're just gonna select movie 01. We're gonna click start export. And so you're just gonna find the folder that you wanna export this into and you're gonna click on the button for select folder. 
And so when you do this, what that's gonna do is that's gonna go through and that's gonna export all of your individual rendered, um, all, all of your individual rendered images, which is why this takes so long. It's basically rendering each frame and then stitching them together in a video. So it's gonna take all of these and stitch them together. And then once it's done with that, that's gonna give you a video that you can play. And so obviously I kind of rushed through this, but you can see how this has gone through and this has actually rendered all of the lighting and the different reflections and things like that off of your different objects in order to create a more realistic video. And so obviously we might want to consider slowing some of these things down or paying a little bit more attention to the individual settings, but this should give you a good idea of how you can combine those settings in order to create a video inside of Twin Motion. One thing we may talk about a little bit later is maybe some principles of kind of what what you should do in these videos and um, if that's something you're interested leave, leave a comment down below and let me know so that's where i'm gonna end this video leave a comment below and let me know what you thought was this helpful to you did you know how to create a video in twin motion i just love having that conversation with you guys if you like this video please remember to click that like button down below if you're new around here remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week um as always thank you so much for taking the time to watch this i really appreciate it and i will catch you in the next video thanks guys